Hello friends, in today's video, we shall go through the Slutsky's approach to price decomposition. Dividing the price effect into substitution effect and income effect is called as the price decomposition for which there are two approaches. The first one is the Hicksian approach of using compensating variation in income. The second approach to price decomposition is the Slutsky's approach of using cost difference method. So first of all, we shall explain Slutsky's cost difference method for the case wherein when the price of good Y remaining the same, what happens when the price of good X decreases? Initially, the consumer's budget line is given as RS, wherein the consumer is in equilibrium at point A at U1 utility level. Here, the consumer consumes OE amount of good X and OH amount of good Y. Now, the price of good Y remaining constant, when the price of good X decreases, consumer's real income increases. So, this increase in the real income is shown by an outward shift in the budget line from RS to RT. So, in this new budget line, the consumer again reaches a new equilibrium at point B at U3 utility level. Here, the consumer consumes OG amount of good X and OI amount of good Y. Note that the nominal income of the consumer is the same in both RS and RT budget line. Only the real income has increased from RS to RT. Here, initially the consumer was purchasing OE amount of good X, but due to the decrease in the price of good X, price of good Y remaining constant, the consumer has purchased an additional EG amount of good X. So, this additional EG amount of good X represents the price effect. Now, out of this EG amount of good X, how much amount of good X has been consumed by the consumer due to substitution effect and how much amount of good X has been consumed by the consumer due to income effect? Now, in order to identify that, we use Slutsky's cost difference method, wherein the increased real income of the consumer is reduced so as to be able to purchase the initial combination of goods at point A if the consumer so desires, which is at the initial price. So, in order to reduce this increased real income of the consumer, we draw a budget line parallel to RT downwards and that budget line passes through the initial combination of goods that is it passes through point A. So, this is represented by the red dotted budget line. Now, in this new budget line, the consumer again reaches an equilibrium at point C at U2 utility level wherein the consumer consumes OF amount of good X and OJ amount of good Y. So, out of the additional EG amount of good X purchased by the consumer due to price effect, EF amount of good X has been consumed by the consumer due to substitution effect. That is, when comparing the price of good X at point A, at point C, we can see that good X has become comparatively cheaper than good Y because the price of good X has decreased, the price of good Y remaining the same. So because good X has become more cheaper now, consumer is purchasing EF additional units of good X, which is the substitution effect. And when the consumer is purchasing EF amount of additional units of good X, the consumer is also reaching a higher utility level compared to the utility at point A. Whereas the rest of the amount of good X, that is FG amount of good X purchased by the consumer is because of the income effect. That is the movement from point C to B shows the income effect. At point C, consumer's real income is reduced. Whereas at point B, the increased real income of the consumer is shown in the RT budget line. So clearly we can witness an increase in the real income of the consumer at point B compared to point C. So due to this increase in the real income or the purchasing power of the consumer, the consumer is purchasing the additional FG amount of good X, which is the income effect. Next, we shall see the case wherein the price of good Y remaining constant, what happens when the price of good X increases. So initially, we have a budget line RS wherein the consumer reaches equilibrium at point A at a higher utility level U3 wherein the consumer consumes OE amount of good X and OH amount of good Y. Now here, the price of good Y remaining constant, when the price of good X increases, the real income of the consumer decreases. So this decrease in the real income is shown by an inward shift in the budget line from RS to RT. So in this new budget line, the consumer again reaches an equilibrium at point B at a much lower utility level U1 and the consumer purchases OG amount of good X and OI amount of good Y. 
So here, initially the consumer was purchasing OE amount of good X, but due to the increase in the price of good X, price of good Y remaining the same, the quantity demanded of good X has decreased from OE to OG. That is, the consumer has not demanded EG amount of good X due to the increase in the price of good X. So clearly, we can see the law of demand being operational here. That is, other factors remaining the same. When the price of good X increased, the quantity demanded of good X has decreased. Decreased. So, this decrease in the quantity demanded of good X by EG amount is due to the price effect. Now, out of this uh, EG amount of good X being consumed less by the consumer, how much amount of good X has been decreased by the consumer due to substitution as well as income effect? We'll find out using Slutsky's cost difference method. So, in order to do that, the reduced real income of the consumer is given to the consumer so that the consumer is able to purchase the initial combination of goods at point A. That is represented by drawing a budget line parallel to RT upwards and also that new budget line should pass through the initial combination of goods that is through point A. That is shown by the red dotted budget line. So in this new red dotted budget line, the consumer reaches equilibrium at point C at U2 utility level. So here of the EG amount of good X being consumed less by the consumer, EF amount of good X has been consumed less due to substitution effect. That is, the price of good Y remaining the same. When the price of good X increased, good X now has become more expensive than good Y. Which is why the consumer has uh, demanded less of good X and more of good Y. So, EF amount of good X has been consumed less by the consumer due to substitution effect. Or in other words, the movement from point A to C shows the substitution effect. And due to substitution effect, the consumer is at a lower utility level U2. Whereas FG amount of good X has been consumed less by the consumer because of income effect. Or in other words, the movement from point C to B shows the income effect. Here, the red dotted budget line shows the increased real income, while the RT budget line shows the reduced real income. So, clearly, the consumer is at a higher utility level at point C and at a lower utility level at point B. So, due to the increase in the price of good X, the consumer's real income has decreased, which is why the consumer is moving from point C to B. So, here, FG amount of good X has been demanded less by the consumer due to income effect. In short, the cost difference method adjusts the real income of the consumer when there is a change in the price of one of the good, the price of the other good remaining the same, so that the consumer is able to purchase the initial combination of goods at the initial price if the consumer wishes to purchase so. That is, if the price of good X decreases, the price of good Y remaining the same, the consumer's real income increases. So, this increased real income is reduced so as to purchase the initial combination of goods. Similarly, the price of good Y remaining the same when the price of good X increases, consumer's real income decreases. So, this decreased real income is given to the consumer so that the consumer can purchase the initial combination of goods. This is the Slutsky's cost difference method. Do subscribe to my channel and share the video. Thank you.